What are the Magic Gardens? Um, the Magic Gardens is a visionary art environment that was all created by one artist, Isaiah Zagar, and it's a giant mosaic installation. It uh, comprises of 3,000 square feet of mosaic surface area. Uh, there's an outdoor labyrinth slash garden area and then two interior galleries and it took them about 14 years to create. It's an immersive experience. So you walk inside of the building and you're inside the art. The mosaic is all around you. Um, so it's a it's a visionary art space is how we describe it. Most of the people that work here are artists themselves. So there's a shared understanding of what it takes to output such creative work and also meeting all of the individuals that come to visit the space, many of them for the first time who haven't seen anything like this. It's a very special experience for them. I'm pretty flabbergasted, blown away. Um, every corner has something more interesting. Art has the unique ability to engage individuals at a very personal and deep level and can help people to reflect deeply on their own life experiences and also to engage the community to bring awareness to issues that perhaps aren't going so well um, and also to celebrate victories. So it's a means of expression and also a way of bringing people together and transmitting human values and stories. It can be a way to um, to bring pride in the community. Often that means that um, if there's a central sort of art museum or sculpture, it will also be um, a safer environment and often a more educated environment for people to learn more about their cultural heritage, broadening people's um, imaginations and uh, experience of what art can be. I think it impacts it by making it more beautiful, more interesting, by changing it because they rotate over time. So in this spot, for example, I've seen four or five different installations over the past couple of years. So it makes the you know same spot more interesting by changing it, giving it a different different face. It's needed to uh, to educate people about about art in general, about its messages. Uh, but it's making it more accessible because you don't need to go into a, a museum. Uh, you can just run into it by chance or by walking in the city. So it's, it gives us great, greater access to more people. For one, brightens the landscape. It creates conversation topics, people walking by. Um, it gives you a new opportunity to explore your city again, something new to experience, some place you've already been. Sometimes they frame different things, like this is showing you a bunch of different ways to walk through the park that you may have not noticed, even though you've walked through the park a million times. Um, I 
just came down here because I heard about this project and I work on the, in the park and um, I thought it was very interesting how she related it to the park and I just got here so I've been studying the various um, spools and uh, I think that public art is important because it helps you kind of think of your environment in a different way and I know it started making me explore my map of the park and find out where some of these uh, parts are that she was uh, making a spool about and I think it's very interesting because she used distance and I walk the park every day so it makes me kind of think about my walk you know and how long it takes and so on and it also makes me explore my city more. Well, I think it's so necessary because it's important to help people experience the world. It is a, a way, art's an expression, and it means something different to everyone. Everyone looking at any exhibit can come away with any kind of different impression. So I think it's necessary just to enhance the creativity of the world. The mural tradition here at Naukai started long before I was even a teacher here and um, I'd say it kind of died down for a little while until Miss Ellett um, had a mural club um, in which case there were some murals that were put up um, with her after school just kind of in a, as an extracurricular activity and then last year I was with my NIAS group and uh, we were kind of thinking about um, how do you get the message of the B, the E, the A, the R, and the S out to students so that they would understand um, that the B meant behave and the A was for academics. So we brainstormed some ideas and we thought about painting uh, murals in the hallway and I was like, oh, I'll take charge of that with my portfolio group. So um, I sat down with Mr. Reynolds, uh, pitched my idea to him and he thought it was a great idea. The murals in the school are important, I think, because it kind of separates Norwalk High from all the other schools. Because I've been to different high schools and they kind of just have the typical white walls and stairs. But with us, we have all these beautiful murals around and they, they just separate us from the rest. And it's just a nice pop of color we have to our high school, I think. I think art is important to be accessible to because of the fact that it kind of allows you how to see how other people think because in my eyes the way a person draws or paints with their colors and the way that they do it is kind of an invitation into their mind and if we don't have that then it's just a very drab and boring place and it teaches people to be individual and to be themselves. Just seeing the entire process and seeing how that artist does think, as I said, it's an invitation to their mind and um, it shows that everybody's thought process is different and everybody has different thoughts and interpretations behind that art piece. For our painting we chose the topic of diversity and in the background what we're planning on having is the quote, the beauty of the world lies in the diversity of its people uh, in the background in different languages and we're, when we're finished painting her we're going to have it over the front of her like accented in English and then um, she, we decided to kind of make her like not a specific color, which is why we have all like these warmer colors and like no specific like skin tones or anything because the topic is diversity and we don't want to touch on just like one race or one type of person. Well art is important just to look at because it can be motivational, it can be political, uh, it can be inspiring. 
um, and it takes just a plain space and it gives adds color to it and when we're walking down the hallways and you look at the work um, it sometimes just can put a smile on your face sometimes it can remind you of something um, it can inspire you um, it can make you be a better person or a more positive person um, a lot of time too in uh, uh, communities that aren't as, as affluent, don't have as much money. Um, sometimes the artwork is, is so meaningful to them. Um, you find graffiti artists tagging things, usually give a message. Um, sometimes the art, um, there's been political things with Obama put up and it helps a community kind of come together. So art is just, uh, it just helps inspire and, and change, can change a place, can change a mood of places. So since our art department's only in one section, no one really knows like how much work we put into it. So I feel like all the murals are like, they show how important art is in our schools and how important art should be actually. Art is what gives us our creativity because you can't get that from any other subject. I was one of three people who worked on this mural, um, which was supposed to represent the word engage. Um, art, you know, is really just expression of people's thoughts and feelings. And you know, when other people see it, then they think and feel stuff. And I think that's good just to stimulate people's minds as they're walking down the hallway. Um, especially in an environment like a school, you know, I think it just promotes um, creative thought. Just seeing it, you know, people, people get the vibes, you know, it makes people think. I think that people don't think enough nowadays. And it encourages people to express themselves, which I think is a very uh, healthy release of stuff. You know, it's, it's very, I don't know, it's very psychologically beneficial for a lot of people, in my opinion. And it's good for people to know that you can make a career out of that, and like that's really an option in life. 